All right, what's up guys? We're on the set for MBK Dave. Um, we're gonna film our first take in that garage back there. So most of the time when we shoot music videos, if there's no storyline that we wanna you know, plan out ahead of time and get like specific scenes for, we'll just pick two to three different locations and do our shots there. So for example, we're gonna shoot in the garage, behind the garage, and then we've also got a shot we're gonna get on top of the garage. So it can be something that simple, Otherwise, uh, you know, we can drive to different locations. A lot of times we'll go, you know, like to some state park after shooting in somebody's house and then hit up some other location that's, um, you know, nearby. So make sure to get more than enough shots. Don't only take three different shots. If you can help it, um, take like three to five shots in each of the locations that you go to. And then do some B-roll, like do some, you know, slow motion or, you know, sh close up shots of like, whatever's around in the area, you know. Maybe it's something as simple as like a chain link fence or something like that, you know. You got the trees up above, maybe you have like a like a pan of the trees or something like that. Um, when I like to do my shooting, my favorite shot is with the 16 to 35, um, using it as a handheld uh, lower shot. So, like this one here, I'm a little lower than everybody else. A lot of times I'll like, you know, get down on the ground and shoot up with the 16 to 35 and everybody will be jumping around. It's just got a really cool kind of warped feel to it. Um, it always looks really good in rap music videos. So there's that one. Um, there's also the 70 by 200 that I love to use on these shoots. Um, I'll use that for my close-ups, you know, zoom in real close. What's up, man? <laughs> We're on scene, we're just waiting on one of our rappers. So uh, anyway, you know, 70 by 200, get those really nice close-ups. Um, and that that's, you know, buttery smooth if you have some kind of slow motion, 120p with the 70 by 200. Oh, it's good. So. These kids are getting it. <laughs> so, um, also, the 35 millimeter is what I love to use. Those three lenses, you can really do just anything with. Um, if you've got those three in your arsenal, it, they don't need to be the prime lenses, but you know, 16 to 35, 35, and the 70 by 200, you are gold. On scene, I'll like to shoot some transitions too that I, I might use between um, shots. So. Um, those are actually in-camera transitions. I've got my like post transitions that I use during editing, but in-camera transitions are always really cool. I literally just do this with the camera. At a few of the different scenes um, that we are shooting, and that way, if you, you know, use that in between one clip and another, it just makes this really awesome like whoosh feel into the next clip. Um, and they're always, you know, looking pretty similar with the color and um, everything with the vibe of the music video. So whatever camera you can get, doesn't matter to me. The uh, Canon 1DX Mark II is what we're shooting on to get that really buttery 120p slow motion. But if you only have your cell phone, use your cell phone. You can, you can still make a really cool video with that. So yeah. Um, We'll talk about the editing portion later, but for now, we're gonna get back to it. We'll be making some really dope editing tutorials and all that good stuff too, um, very, very soon. See ya. If that nigga wants smoke, he can get it. Pull on his block, I'ma give him the fan. I'm, I'm, I'm my jewelry be jumping like damn. In the building, she know I'm the man. In the back, she, she sucking my dick like I had the little nigga, she killing my man. And, and all I can say is, goddamn. When I finish, she started again. 